So the next learning objective is about differential correction and um, how it is uh, performed. So differential GNSS or differential global navigation satellite system is basically a mechanism of correcting the errors in the position. Um, it entails establishing a base station where we know the position of the base station accurately. The true coordinates of the location of the base station are used to determine the accuracy of the satellite uh, broadcasted signal and estimated position. And once that error is estimated, then it can be used to perform a correction for all the other measurements. So um, in general, we have our satellite system and we have our receiver. But in case of DGNSS, we add a reference station where we know the location. So um, how does this work? It's also called differential positioning. We have the broadcasted signal from satellites and a base station with known location. And the usually the mobile station is called a rover or roving receiver. And um, by using these two receiving systems, um, we end up improving the accuracy of our roving receiver. Um, so how does this work? So the base station is at a known location. So this is the base station and I know exactly the latitude, longitude and altitude of this point. Now the roving station is at, a, at an unknown point. And suppose they both receive signals from the satellites um, and these satellite broadcasted signals have errors. They, these errors could be based upon uh, due to the signal errors these errors could be due to the dilution of the precision of the uh, satellites themselves. Um, but in any case, they're both receiving the same error because they are not very far away from each other. So we make two measurements. The roving station makes a measurement and so does the base station. But because we know that the, act, the exact location of the base station, the measurement has an error and we can exactly calculate what this error is. Let's say this error turns out to be um, two meters uh, along x-axis and three meters along y-axis. So I know exactly what the error of the signal right now is. So I can take that error and apply it to the roving receiver uh, position to correct it. So if the roving position gave me a measurement here, all I have to do is shift it three meters along y-axis and two meters along x-axis to correct the position of the rolling station. So that's the idea behind differential positioning where um, a second station with known coordinates helps us improve the precision of the position of a roving um, uh, receiver. So there are two types of differential positioning, uh, differential uh, uh, positioning process. And the first one is called the post-process differential correction. And the second one is called the real-time differential correction. In post-processing, um, the base station is collecting its own data. It's keeping track of when that data was collected. And the roving station is collecting its data as well. And there is time tag. So when we come back from the field work, we upload both of these data sets on a computer, and then the computer figures out that which time tag corresponds to the measurements of the roving receiver and accordingly applies those corrections. So all of the correction is done after the field work has been completed. On the other side, there are certain scenarios where you need real-time correction. Let's say if, if it was um, a ship in the ocean and there is no time to go back to your office and figure this out. You need to do the correction right there in, in the field. Or if this was an emergency um, 
team trying to locate some survivors of an earthquake they don't need they don't have time to go back to their office and do differential correction so they in that case we do real time differential correction this is uh, the post processing is much more uh, higher accuracy because th there's more data in this case whatever data is available you use that so there's not much accuracy but it is done on the go and in this case there's a base station that is broadcasting its errors um, on a continuous basis and so if you are in the vicinity of that broadcast signal you get a signal from the satellite that to use your position you get a signal from the broadcast uh, base station um, of the base station to correct that position and so that's basically a real-time differential correction um, so these base stations that are continuously broadcasting uh, signal are available around the country and around the world there are two commonly used systems and when you open up your GPS receiver it gives you the option to apply differential correction from either one of these if, if, they, if you can tune to them. Um, one is called the Wide Area Augmentation System or WAS and the other one is called the Continuously Operating Reference Station CORS. The CORS is also used um, to improve our um, uh, datum estimates or datum um, after new data has been added. So again, these stations are all over the country. And so if you were, let's say, um, surveying in around Las Vegas area, you see that there are several stations here from the core system. And also from here, there are a couple of station, base stations from the WAS system that could be contacted by your receiver to perform the differential correction on the go. Or you can come to your lab and go to the website of CORS or WAS and download the base station data and do the post-processing uh, for the differential correction. And typically, to enable differential correction, if you go to the settings of your GPS receiver, um, you will see some form of uh, mention of differential and then you can pick the type of differential correction that you would like to apply. Here is another example. This is a Trimble unit. And so here, it, it actually, you, you can select a base station that is close to you and then apply the uh, base files um, to correct those um, um, positional errors in your receiver unit. So before I end this uh, objective, I want to talk about a couple of applications where we use the GNSS. Um, so one is tracking. Uh, if, if you're trying to find out how a certain um, um, object, in this case an animal, a wildebeest, is uh, moving around in, in a certain area, we can put a GPS tracker on it and it will log all the positions this animal has been to. Um, the same idea can be applied um, when spies are tracking um, or, or when, when um, law enforcement is tracking a certain criminal, the same idea applies. And more recently we can have even smaller GPS um, locators that we can attach um, to kids so you know where your child is and you can see it on a, on a GPS or on, on your iPhone enabled with GPS. Uh, we can do navigation and this is kind of the, the original purpose of GNSS where it was supposed to um, find, help people find way um, as they are navigating on the surface of the earth and um, in the ocean of course and of course aeroplanes that are flying in the atmosphere. Um, the other more common use nowadays is field digitization. When surveyors go out in the field to collect field data, they now carry uh, GPS receivers that are in real time giving them position and they can even get the differential correction to get accurate position and log the data on the go and that's what you will do in the lab as well.